my name is Rosecrans Baldwin, and the book is called Paris, I Love You, But You're Bringing Me Down. It's a memoir about the time my wife and I lived in Paris, France for about 18 months, 2007, 2008. We'd been dying to move abroad for a long time and just were sort of looking for an opportunity. A lot of things came up, nothing really worked out. And then this job to go work at a Parisian ad agency fell on my lap. So it's about sort of the highs and lows of living in contemporary Paris where, you know, it sort of smacks of the Paris that a lot of people have seen in the movies and heard about. And then it's also completely different from that. Was the goal of your book in part to kind of work against that, to my ears, completely obnoxious veneration of Paris <laughs> that some Americans have? I think... If I was going to write a book about Paris, it had to be completely true to my experiences. There have been a thousand books written about living in Paris. Lots of people have lived there, and there's lots of movies. We have an idea. And I was more interested in the nitty gritty of what the lives were of my coworkers and what the life was in the office. For example, like I would have this guy come to fix my laptop, and like he'd be under my desk, you know, like fixing things. And then he comes up, and then. All right. Because I want to see how this is going. Okay. Hey, uh... So I've just dispatched you from IT. You're the IT guy. Yeah, I got a work order. Already, so we already screwed up. So what happened is that when you arrived with your work oh. order, <laughs> now, that shouldn't have happened. I would have done that to you, but you would have be, your reaction to me should have been like, that's right. I'm here Whatever. to fix your laptop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, there's no hug. So this, oh. this is what, all right, are there any French people here, or can I just speak on behalf of the nation of France? All right, on behalf of the nation of France, this, what you just did, the bro double tap, is bullshit. I think if you can get people on stage and have something original actually be created on the stage, rather than just, I don't know, the, the, the false positions of here's speaker and here's audience, I think that's so much more fun. In the back of the taxi, you turned off the TV and read me a book on your phone. Here's the return of your skeleton key, oh baby, the places we've gone. If that was goodbye, then I must be high, you know I'll be seeing you soon.